Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. Today I'll be talking about microwave heating. Microwave heating is an important tool because we frequently use microwave as a heating source in most of our research problems. So we need a specific platform where we can actually model our physical experiments so that we can validate our results. So today I'll be talking about the steps and the logic behind a modeling microwave heating using Comsol Multiphysics. So this is another application library which is already available in Comsol and my, my contribution is to make you understand the steps and the logic so that it becomes easier for you to implement your problem. So you can see that this particular problem is taken in a axisymmetric case where this left side is the axisymmetric line and the geometry is like this if you just uh, if I just expand the geometry you can see there is a passage and uh, how exactly they have introduced the heat transfer that I will be talking here so they have taken a model module that is a uh, bio heat transfer so basically the bio heat transfer is similar to the heat transfer so this is taken in stationary equation and the frequency domain or you, I can say to be specific they have taken this equation in frequency domain so there is no time dependent term and other terms are similar so this particular term is the convective term you can see there is a velocity vector in this particular expression and this is nothing but the diffusive or the conductive term and those are the heat sources if any so in this particular case we need to put a heat source because of what because of the microwave now how exactly you can put your microwave heating so they have actually introduced electromagnetic waves to solve for the microwave then from the microwave how much heating is coming that will come from the coupling multiphysics so in the multiphysics coupling they have introduced this particular term that is J dot E. So I have already made another video on coupling electromagnetic heating. So this is also similar. Only thing is we have to work in the domain of microwave and that we need to define in our frequency domain. So I'll come to that. But before that, let us go to the equation that is the electromagnetic wave and the boundary conditions because boundary condition is very important so you can see uh, in the entire space the electromagnetic wave is being solved and you the most important thing is the port port mean where from your wave is coming so this is a kind of energy influx or energy inflow into the system so here you can see there is a red colored arrow line so it is indicating that through this particular inlet the microwave energy is coming in and the unit is if you see here so this is the port input and the unit is in what so they have taken p in and this p in value is defined here you can see that is 10 watt now another important thing is your f f is the frequency at which we will be solving for your wave equation and this frequency is 2.45 gigahertz now 2.45 gigahertz falls in the domain of microwave so i have taken a calculator online calculator and i can just calculate so I have a calculator here online calculator and you can see I have converted 2.5 gigahertz frequency into wavelength and it is coming 0.11 meter and 0.11 meter means it is uh, approximately 10 centimeter so if, uh, if I uh, multiply it by 100 so it will come 10 cent 10 centimeter equivalent so microwave actually falls in this particular wavelength domain you can just google it and check so we can just check microwave wavelength 
and I can see this is lambda 1 meter to lambda equal to 1 mm and our case what they have taken is coming around 0.11 meter so yeah we are in the microwave domain so that exactly we have they have actually taken so you can see so this is very important so where from your microwave source is coming it is coming from the f that f you are putting in this frequency domain expression and another important thing is this is your how much power you are putting in so 10 watt and that you have to uh, you have to get from your physical understanding of microwave heating from standard literature you will be getting the power so if you know the power you can put the power here and all other parameters are related to the physical parameters which are required for the heating uh, so they have taken uh, biological heating so you can see uh, cp blood rho blood so basically they are solving for the heating of blood and that's why those parameters are taken you can see uh, the, i mean all the bio heating parameters are taken and those are coming from i'll show you the material so for their case you can see they have taken the material as lever so they are trying to they are basically implement a situation wherein you are putting microwave from an external source and how you can heat inside your body and that's why they have taken all the physical parameters which are pertinent to this human liver and uh, this is a dielectric material so you can see i'll show you once again so the wave through i mean the microwave which is coming this is coming from a specific dielectric material then they have a I mean you can see here this part is air only this particular section okay so you can actually look into it uh, but our purpose of making this video was to how exactly we can put that microwave heating so I am going to towards that now I I have already shown you that electromagnetic heating now if you go to this frequency domain you'll see they have taken this particular f which is in the microwave domain and in the frequency domain they have they are basically solving for this electromagnetic wave equation so we'll be solving a frequency domain to get the information about the wave and then we'll come to the time dependent one and in time dependent we'll be solving the bioheating and the electromagnetic heating so these two are coupled because in the bioheating equation there is a coupling that means there is a source term and that source is coming from that microwave and that is why this bioheater and this electromagnetic heating multiphysics are coupled together so then you need to solve it if you solve then you will be getting the so I'll try to solve it may takes it it will take 13 seconds only so I may just try to solve it it will be done quickly and I can show you the temperature profile once this is done it is taking more than usual I'll pause the video and come back okay uh, this simulation is done so here they are showing that power dissipation in watt per meter cube and this is how the power dissipation profile looks and because of this power dissipation we can look at the temperature profile uh, this is in three dimension we should have in 2d as well this is 2d you can see wherein the heat dissipation or the power dissipation is maximum there we have maximum heating you can see in this particular zone we have maximum heating if you remember the heat di uh, power dissipation was also maximum here so this is uh, this is a classic example where they have utilized microwave as a heating source you can just change your geometry as per your requirement you can actually solve your microwave equation and then 
put this multiphysics coupling electromagnetic heating to have the effect of this microwave so i hope this video was helpful if so please subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your peers